Hello again guys, it is Faker coming at you with another Legends of Runeta video. Today I want to share with you my updated version of Twisted Fate and Ezreal as of patch 1.14. This deck has suffered a tremendous amount of nerfs. I'm surprised I can even still find some success with it, but with the recent changes to Ezreal, it made this deck somewhat competitively viable and it's a deck I do plan on bringing to a tournament coming up. So this list in particular, you know, it's probably not the best for laddering at the moment as it does suffer a very bad matchup into Shadow Isles, Free Old Ramp or Anivia decks. Just anything with those two region combinations in Free Old and Shadow Isles makes it really hard for this deck. But when pick and bans are involved, this deck can find some pretty good success against some of the other popular decks. And ironically, it's pretty good against Spooky Karma. It's pretty good against the Gohard decks as Riptide Rex, even though it has been nerfed, can still find a tremendous amount of value against either A, Gohard decks that have like a widespread board of like chump minions or B, lists that don't even run many minions at all. Riptide Rex is finding a lot of value just going face. So still a very powerful win condition, even though it has been nerfed, I would still say running three of their Riptide Rex is very necessary for this kind of archetype. So I'm going to share a few games here for you guys today. If you enjoy them, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new here. As always, the deck code deck link is going to be in the description below. Good luck on ladder. I'll see you soon. I need to watch your gameplay with this deck because I've been doing with it. Or well, you're in the right place. You're in the place where the gameplay is happening. Against the um, Ash Shadjawani, it's, it's usually, in most matchups, it's quite important that we curve out. Uh, Mystic Shot hits decent value against a 5-1. Obviously, like, whether or not they have Elixir of Iron is a different question. Maybe Mystic Shot's just a fine keep. It's usually just a keep in a, there's so many matchups. This is a matchup where we have to make a decision about how much we invest into like Ezreal in this game. He should pass here. This is interesting. I'm just gonna play the merchant here. That's a pretty nuts find. So what this means now is that I can throw up this. If he decides to um play a combat trick here, I'll play Brutal still, but if not, I'm pretty happy with that trade. It's a fine trade for me. Uh, definitely going to be Petty Officer this turn. And for the unit. Uh, Brutal still is going to be fantastic against Ash. If he has it on curve. That's a little bit... Oh, he's playing a more aggressive variant. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. I guess that's kind of cool. We can tank this next attack. Depending on what he plays as his second card. This Brutal still is actually really clutch. Because now I can play this Petty Officer. And it might sway him from attacking. The guilty will bend. Feels kind of mystic shot, doesn't it? Um, how do we feel about the Ezreal development? I thought you'd never ask. Maybe he goes for a Reckoning. That would be kind of pog. We're going to outplay the Reckoning here with the uh, Brittle Steel that we yoinked. Hey James, how you going homie? Looks like he just goes for the Culling Strike. That's a fair play. Double pair for the next 
We should have full swing here. I'm well yourself. I'm great. Thank you. Now, uh, Brittle still will get countered pretty hard by Troll Chant. But I'll still take my attack. That's okay. Still push 4 damage. Makes more sense for him to block this. And we'll play Merchant. Flash Freeze. <clears throat> so we had a really good opportunity to play um, Reckoning last turn. I think that doesn't get much better than that. I'm just going to assume that he chose not to play it yet for, you know, certain reasons. Or he doesn't have it. Carved from the savage cold. I need a static here. I need to draw some cards. So this should drag the zero one. That's interesting. That doesn't make much sense to me. My life for these lands. I guess the parlay here is kind of clutch, isn't it, guys? And maybe there's no Elixir of Iron in this list. Like, he's running Flash Freeze, Brittle Steel, and Troll Chant. He's more than likely not actually running any other cards, right? Um, let's just open up with the Zap Spray in here. We might need this Ezreal to close out the game. So playing a pre... Playing it too early might be a bit of a punishment. I think Zap Spray Fin was a pretty good draw there. Not and ready. All right, this is an important turn. I'm interested in checking out your updated version of this list. My man. Let's just go for the make it rain and guarantee that plunder on his nexus. Damage and leveling up Ezreal. Then we have three damage from hand. I guess he chooses to protect his units here. That's fair enough. Just puts me on a shorter clock. Into a trapper. All right. So we're looking for Riptide Rexes. Twister Face is pretty good too, I guess. Stand and fight. Fire beware. Is going down to six reasonable number? Yeah, I want to protect my Zap Spray Fin, right? And maybe he plays like some sort of weird attack. I think we're just going to draw more cards here. Or alternatively, I can just pass, I think. Actually, passing might just be fine. We should play Twister Fate. Even just for blue card. If he plays Reckoning. I do have the Flash Freeze.
All right, that was off the top, right? This might be Ezreal time. Hail, War Mother! Drive them before us, Era. Yeah, even if he plays Reckoning, I've got the refill. I'm just gonna hope his last card isn't calling strike. All right. I think one goes into the Nexus, one goes into Sejuani. Get the refill. It might still be calling strike, but he could be waiting until I play some cards. If I summon a powder keg, I can almost kill him. I need more runs. This is three plus one, two. Alright, if we if this round ends, we should win. This should be a win unless he has healing. Uh Ezreal just really wraps it up as well. I think we just we burst out the warning shot so we can't interact with the keg. Obstacle meets gauntlet. You barnacle, you pick the losing side. Excellent. Fantastic. It was in the card. Uh, we don't win this matchup. I'll play it out though, but we generally don't win this. But I would still say it's quite unfavored. Like at least like 30%, 70%. Like out of 100 games, you'll probably win 30, maybe, if you're lucky. 25. You're gonna surrender to me again? Maybe you picked the wrong deck. I probably should have waited to queue up here. Basically, we need a really strong opener. We need like Jagged Butcher with Warning Shot. We don't have that. We sort of do. I can't. This is so weird. It's like if I pass, he passes, right? So. I just have to hope he hasn't got. Um, I have to hope that he hasn't got. Averroesian Sentry. Uh, aristocrat. Even Aristocrat would have been just as painful, really. Anything to block the 3 3. You do have to take lots of chances in this matchup if you ever want to expect to win and that was you know a reasonable chance for me to get some stuff done and like not playing static shock here is a mistake too you develop something else. That pass was textbook for developing, uh, having something else to develop. Like he passes it every time because I can, you know, I can't really pass there. And playing around Avalanche is a prank. It's usually, yeah, okay. Normally you don't play around Avalanche, but realizing how bad it is here if I develop, even if it's not just Avalanche, but a few other cards. 
I might need this three damage. Leave your bags in the door. Hopefully no glimpse beyond. He keeps finding playable units, which is really sad. <laughs> He's got double Anivirus in hand. And this is the best play I've got. Use the Mystic Shot here to deal 2 to the Spider to potentially push 3 damage. This is the way. If I use Thermo Beam, I activate Rekindler. Unfortunately, nothing to do here but pass. Make it rain always feels bad after a nerf. It doesn't feel fantastic sometimes, yeah. This is true. Hero, any idea why red plays atrocity in the TF go hard with Callista? I don't use it, but I'm a noob. Um, look, you play, you play Lidros, you play atrocity, and that's really powerful. Those two in hand in hand are just very powerful. Um, okay, here's the next plan. We'll see if we can uh, yoink Harrowing from his deck. That can give us a shot. He's going to play Rekindler here. That Ruination's pretty, pretty textbook. This should be a harrowing. If it's not harrowing, he's in a lot of trouble. He could also be um Rekindler. Just a Nivea. This is our time. Do I have a any way of punishing this? Not exactly, but I'm still going to play Riptide Rex. What is this play? Grasp into Vile Feast. That's pretty good, I guess. Don't swing here because of harrowing. Oh wait, harrowing's not doing anything. <laughs> I've only played three units this game. I was like, this harrowing's gonna be nuts. It wasn't. But it does force some pretty specific answers. Uh, 
Um, I'm convinced we play Static Shock, right? Are you... Tr the, the Prodigy is actually kind of nice. I'll admit, I'll admit the Prodigy's uh, ability to refill mana is kind of insane. So he's probably setting up for... <sighs> what do I do here, guys? I'm pretty sure I take the attack knowing that he doesn't really have the answers. Plain Butch is probably not going to achieve fuck all. He must have a Grasp here or something. Grasp, putting him down to 6 in total now. This game suddenly got a lot closer because of a whole lot of high rolling. Another fucking avalanche, man. Triple avo. Triple Avalanche was nuts. He's vengeancing a 2 2. He must have Harrowing in hand. Oh, don't draw Harrowing. Let's play Ezreal. The world's a big place. Got the Pogger's Day. Let's take this outside. There's plenty of killing left. We're actually hitting the insane cards here. This game was a lot closer than it needed to be. I don't think he has Ruination. Still, I'm gonna go for the Riptide Rex here. If he draws Harrowing, I can play Zap Spray Finn and potentially push a little bit more damage. The, the, the insane top decks this game is really getting out of hand. <laughs> it's every card getting played off the top. It's really getting mental here. Could I have done anything differently this turn? I could have open attacked. I could have open attacked with Ezreal. Just waiting for a guess. No worries, homie. Yeah, I should have um, I should have opened attacked with Ezreal for sure. How are the games? They've been good. They've been pretty good so far. Yeah, I should have opened attacked with Ezreal last turn, but you know. 
I don't know. Yeah, play Sentry. We yoinked some card draw. The game's been pretty insane though. This, this match in particular has really gotten out of hand. Oh. Are you telling me there's a chance? How many vile faces this guy played? Come on. At least I deny him the card draw. No. Oh no. Oh, oh, Light the signal fires. it's over. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a game.